Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Tinker O'Toole again here with another video. Today we're going to do a review on uh, file gauges. Maybe something you're not familiar with. Quite simply, these are file gauges. And what they do is that they've had 25% of the file removed. The new standard for still is have 20%, 25% of the file sticking above the top of the tooth. So these file gauges are set at the correct height and we'll demonstrate on how to set them up and use them. So this is a 3H, standard 3H chain. Still recommend 5.2 millimetres. I like to use a 5.5 millimetre file. Uh, on my 3.8 chain when it's brand new, then I swap to a 5.2 millimetre file. A lot of manufacturers recommend 5.5 millimetre file, 732. So you put the file gauge in. Now, you need to keep the file gauge horizontal, level. So make sure it's level. The next thing, set up your top plate angle. This is still RS chain, so it's 30 degrees. We set this up on 30 degrees. I'm given five degrees tilt because I feel that the file lays in there really well. Now, I need to adjust this to set this up. Make sure that it's all set up properly. So we'll go over that setup procedure, we'll zoom in. Now that the file's sitting in there, we need to adjust the file height. We need to get it dead level with the actual tooth. Now, it's sitting a little bit higher than it should, so it's just a matter of lowering that down, and I think that you can see that pretty good. File sitting level, if I was to lower it a bit more, you'll see that the tooth is sticking up. So we just adjust the knob on top, Till we just about get it about there. Now that means that it's at the right level. Now, if I was to put a 5.2 millimeter file in there, you'll see the difference. So I'll just remove this. And this is why these file gauges are fantastic. Because they really show you where you're filing at because when you're hand filing you're guessing same as a 10 degrees down with tilt and these file gauges take out the guessing now 5.2 millimeter file as you can see that is slightly lower it's not sitting horizontal, so we'll just get it sitting a bit horizontal. That's sitting flat about now. That's about flat. I think you can see that the tooth is sitting above. And that would be a matter of adjusting the knob on top and bringing that up level like that. So that's how good the file gauge works. So simple. So what I'm going to do, we'll go back to the... 5.5 millimetre. It's only been recently that far uh, still have recommended, they always used to recommend uh, 20 degrees. Now they reckon 20, 25 degree, uh, not degrees, 25% above. But on this file guide system, this still FG2, I don't know whether it's a misprint or whatever, but it states 10% above. So, as you can see, with the this file now, this is a five point, this is a five point five millimeter or seven thirty two that we need to come up. So we just adjust the knob, and that's our twenty five percent height. That's ready to go. So now you just put in the right file. And it will be set at the correct height. That's how the file gauge works. Pretty simple. 
So now, I'll guarantee you that this is set at the right height. Now, I'm just going to file this a few times. Okay, so that's uh, what the tooth looks like after it was filed in the FG2 at the correct height. And that's 25% above. So it certainly works okay. And you wouldn't want any more hook than that. So I certainly uh, recommend that if you've got old files laying around. That you could do that. Now what I want to do is insert a file in there. And you can see how good that the gauge actually works holding the file gauge up against that so we'll do that next okay so here's the practical application you've seen the file uh, gauge in the FG2 this is mounted on a file vise this was the tooth that we did and I've got a five this is the actual file gauge the 5.5 millimeter and if we sit in there and set it up, you'll see that it really sits in there well. So you know you're, you're pretty much spot on. If I was to sit the 5.2 millimeter one in there, you'll see that it definitely sits lower. So you can use it just to check to make sure you're in the uh, ballpark and if you actually actually have a look and we'll go down a little bit you can see the profile on the side there pretty good it's a pretty good profile that now what we can do while we're here just try and get get it set right is put the uh rake a gauge and check the side plate angle so we need to come from this direction here and if you look up the top not bad angle it's about 60 degrees so if you look at that again right about there up the top in this spot you can see that it's pretty good remember that your 60 degree top plate cutting angle is in an R it's only right on the very tip and that angle keeps changing so when you put the gauge on and check you have to check right up at the top sorry there we are here so that's where we're checking and that's where we're looking right up the very top here in this region there it's, it's about as good as what you're going to get for a basic simple tool it gives you a pretty good idea it might not be perfect but it gives you a good idea that you're within the ballpark of the right angle so in conclusion the file guides work really good where you can sort of just be careful making your adjustment. That's 10 degrees downward tilt. So if I bring it back to horizontal, you'll see that the point of the tooth sits up a bit. So it's just a matter of playing with the adjustment and getting that set right. As you can see, you can lift the file up or down. You'll get used to doing it, lifting it up and down. And you'll find out what's the best position for you. Uh, and yeah, look, they really do work well. And I've got another two sizes. This is the 5.2 millimeter version. And this is for the 3.8 low profile. So this is a four millimeter file. Okay, so the next question I hear you say, where do you get these file gauges? Well, you don't. Something that I come up with, I just did, sort of made them up. I just had a few spare files laying around and I just thought one of the worst things, you know, I, I can adjust the top plate angle. I can do 10 degrees downward tilt, but the depth is something that you're going to guess. I need to eliminate that error. 
And that's where I come up with the file gauge. And it was just a matter of putting them on the grinder and grinding the right depth. So on a 5.5 millimeter file, we take off approximately 1.1 millimeters and that sets the correct depth like that. At least if the side plate looks okay, it's got that nice C shape, uh, you can use this just to set it up. It's something, it's a guide. Remember, it's not set in concrete. It is a guide. And that's all it's ever meant to do is to guide you in the right direction and give you the proximate height. And that's pretty much what it does. And it does it pretty good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.